Hi, today it's wood carving. And we start with a little gazelle. Could be made in Africa, but there's no markings whatsoever. But done quite well on a very hard wood. And then I have two little bears. Quite nice. You get the sense of a fur, the way it's carved. They're little cute guys. Then I have an elephant. Simply carved. Could be from Africa. But it also could be from a man whittling at a zoo. I have no idea. And certainly whittling in the 19th and 20th century were hobbies of a lot of men. Then I have an owl. A nice three inch owl. There's his back wing. Here's his front wing. You got the horns for the owl. And again, no markings whatsoever, but nice. Then I have this cup, probably lathe turned, but I don't know. Here are leaves going around the complete outside. Very delicately done. And this is all pre Dremel tool. So it's, you know, a lot of skill involved. Let's put them down. And then I have two men. Here's an older man. He's got a beard. He's holding a bowl. He's got satchels on the side. And he's got a load bearing structure here on the back. He's quite nice, very proportioned. And the second man I have, he's got a, a wraparound garment. And then when you turn him on the back, he's got two carved instruments below the belt. And this spoon or cup is used as a three prong standing device. Like he wouldn't stand with just his feet. He needs that cup as well. But he's quite nice and well detailed. Good expression on his face. The spear comes out a little bit if you want it. But now let me show you the last carving. I'll put these away. This one's a little bigger. Very nice. I suspect this could be from the 30s. I don't know if it's a bookend. And it's the only one. I don't have a duplicate. It's, you got carving on the sides, more of just a chisel work, but certainly his face is done with a lot of skill. He's got a nice hat, the brim comes up, good expression on the face, very different. Anyway, take care.